Hello and welcome to the daily number workout for grade three. We're on the number 34. So let's get started. We start off with our word form. Let's see, 34, T-H-I-R-T-Y, 34. F-O-U-R, and because it ends in a four, it is an even number. So let's go on to factors. So we're doing factor pairs as well as factors. So we know one times 34 equals 34. So that would be one times 34. Because it's even, two goes in, two goes into 34. 17 times, so that would be two times 17. Three does not go in evenly. Four does not go in evenly. Five doesn't because it doesn't end with a zero or a five. Six does not go in evenly because six goes into 30 and then 36. Seven goes into 35, eight goes into 32, and then 40. Nine doesn't go in because it goes into 36. 10 doesn't go in and so forth. So those are the only factors that go into 34 evenly, one, two, 17 and 34. And we're done with our factors. All right, let's move on to addition. And we're starting to stack our addition. So we're gonna do 34 plus one. So four plus one is five, three plus nothing is three, 34 plus two. Four plus two is six, three plus nothing is three. Ooh, I'm running out of marker here. 34 plus three. Four plus three is seven, three plus nothing is three, 30, Four plus four. Four plus four is eight. Three plus nothing is three. And I'm gonna have to switch up because that marker is dying on me. 34 plus five. Four plus five is nine. Three plus three is nothing. 34 plus six. Four plus six is 10. Drop the zero, carry the one. One plus four. Three is four. 34 plus seven. Four plus seven is 11. Drop the one, carry the one. One plus three is four. 34 plus eight. Four plus eight is 12. Drop the two, carry the one. One plus three is four. 34 plus nine. Four plus nine is 13, drop the three, carry the one, one plus three is four. Then 34 plus 10, four plus zero is four, three plus one is four. And we can check our answers to see if they are all in a row and they are, count them in order. And let's move on to subtraction. So I'm gonna move my card up. So you can see what I'm doing, subtraction. I'm gonna move that up so we have plenty of space here to work. So we have, we're starting with the number 44. We always go with the last one. So I'm just gonna move this up. I hope you already have that written down. So we're gonna have 44 minus 34. So four minus four is zero. 4 minus 3 is 10. 43 minus 34. 3 minus 4 cannot do. Borrow from the 4, leaving 3, making that 13 minus 4 is 9. 3 minus 3, nothing. 42 minus 34. Two, 4 from 2 cannot do. Borrow from the 4, leaving 3, making that 12 minus 4 is 8. 3 minus 3, nothing. 41 minus 34, four from one cannot do, borrow from the four leaving three, making that 11. 11 minus four is seven, three minus three, nothing. 40 
minus 34. Four from zero cannot do, borrow from the four, making it three and making that 10. 10 minus four is six, three minus three, nothing. 39 minus 34, nine minus four is five, three minus three, nothing. 38 minus 34, eight minus four is four, three minus three, nothing. 37 minus 34, seven minus four is three, three minus three, nothing. 36 minus 34, six minus four is two, three minus three, nothing. 35 minus 34, five minus four is one, three minus three, nothing. All right, we're done with our addition and our subtraction. Hopefully you've got those all written down looking good. And we're gonna go on to multiplication. <sighs> multiplication. So I'm gonna cover this up. Hopefully you have that all written down. And we're gonna do 34 times two. We're gonna start off with two because 34 times one is 34. Two times four is eight. Two times three is six. 34 times three. Three times four is 12, drop the two, carry the one. Three times three is nine, plus one is 10. 34 times four. Four times four is 16, drop the six, carry the one. Four times three is 12, plus one is 13. All right, let's do 34 times five. Five times four is 20, drop the zero, carry the two. Five times three is 15 plus two is 17. 170, 34 times six. Six times four is 24, drop the four, carry the two. Six times three is 18 plus two is 20. 34 times seven. Seven times four is 28, drop the eight, carry the two. Seven times three is 21 plus two is 23. Let's do 34 times eight. Eight times four is 32, drop the two, carry the three. Eight times three is 24 plus three is 27. 34 times nine. Nine times four is 36, drop the six, carry the three. Nine times three is 27 plus three is 30. 34 times 10. We're gonna drop that zero to hold that place value. Then one times four is four, one times three is three. And we're done with our multiplication. Hopefully you did everything like I did and you just are checking your answers checking them off that you did a good job. Let's move on to our measurement as well as fractions. So here we go, inches, feet, and yards. So if we have 34 inches, we know that's the same as how many feet? So we want to break it down into 12. So we have 34 twelfths of a foot. So that means we break it apart into a, an addition problem. So we have 12 plus 12 twelfths plus 10 twelfths. So if we add these up, 12 plus 12 is 24 plus 10 is 34. So that means we have one, two whole feet and 10 twelfths. So 34 inches is the same as two and 10 twelfths of a foot. Boop. And when we talk about yards, it takes 36 inches to make a yard and we have 34. So we have 34, 36 of a yard. And so we're done with that one as well, boom. All right, our, that's our standard form of measurement, inches, feet, and yards. We're gonna go for our metric measurement, which is centimeters, decimeters, and meters. And so if we have 34 centimeters, we're using our number of the day, 
we know it takes 10 centimeters to make a decimeter. So we're going to create a fraction, 34 out of 10 or 34 divided by 10. So this line means divided by, out of. So we're gonna break this into tens. So we have 10 tenths plus, 10 tenths plus, 10 tenths. So that's 10, 20, 30. And then we have four more. So you can see where I'm getting this from. 10, 20, 30, four tenths. Denominator is all the same. When you're adding fractions, the denominator, the bottom number, the denominator stays the same. So that means we have one, two, three whole decimeters and four tenths of one. So we have three and four tenths of a decimeter, which that is the same as 34 centimeters. And then it takes 100 centimeters to make a meter and we only have 34. So we have 34 hundredths of a meter. And there we have it, our number 34. Have a great day.